Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. So in this video, we are going to learn about a three level lasing system and how it leads to the formation of a laser. In a laser, assume that the lasing material is having three energy levels E1, E2 and E3 wherein E1 is the ground state, E2 is the metastable state and E3 is the excited state. For your information, the metastable state is going to have a lifetime of 10 raised to minus 3 seconds that is E2 and the excited state E3 is going to have a lifetime of 10 raised to minus 8 seconds. Once pumping happens, the atoms will actually be elevated from E1 state to the E3 state. E3 as you know is the excited state and the lifetime of this excited state is very small that is 10 raised to minus 8 seconds. When atoms are in this particular excited state, then they will quickly jump to the metastable state which is the E2 state and they will get populated over here for the simple reason that the lifetime of E2 which is the metastable state is very high that is 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. Now due to this population inversion occurs. Population inversion means the number of atoms that is N2 in the higher energy states become more than the number of atoms that are present in the ground state. Once population inversion occurs this is a very favorable condition for stimulated emission to occur. So any spontaneously emitted radiation photon will actually now trigger the fall of these atoms which are present in the excited metastable state. And due to this fall, they will make a transition from the metastable state E2 to the ground state E1. But when they make this particular transition, you have coherent photons that are being emitted and this coherent photons monochromatic photons will actually give rise to a high intensity laser. So this is how a three level system will actually function for lasing action to occur. Sincere thanks students for watching this particular video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe to Ikeda. Thanks a lot.